see our mother. I, I, I see, I see, I see, I see my mother and, and this desire for the long life that she given to her children. 87 years and eight kids later, here we are giving this woman her due. So, now, and my mom, mom had eight kids, and eight kids, nine months of pregnancy each kid, right? So my mom was pregnant for five years. <laughs> that's, that's time for a pause. <laughs> when you called, I was pregnant for how many years? No. Who is it that desires five years of pregnancy? <laughs> <laughs> but here's the good part about you She hung in there. Five years of a spoiler, like the good times, so five years of the stomach mumps. And I was the most fourth child. So my mama had Willie and Oli Jr. and Reverend, she had me. And really, she had four children, then she had four more children. And then last for y'all need to be shot. <laughs> y'all last. Four kids? And then four more? Hallelujah. Hey. If we never does anything else for me, she done enough. Yeah. A 
seamstress, a songstress, the preacher's daughter. I'll be around and I'm always all switch and stuff. She said, wait a minute, you know I'm a carpenter's daughter. And she'd be all in the way fixing it. I'll let mama fix it anyway. <laughs> Our mother was all that. What's a case of something like that? Okay, kid? Now, uh, my mother was, and all my siblings and cousins and for her, and everyone stood up and said what mother was. We know what mother was. We know what mother was. This girl represents what my mother was. But can I tell you what my mother is? My mama, my mama is not was. My mama is. I'm on my walls. Our mother is. Like we said, God is. Yeah. God is a reward of them who yeah. do what? Yeah. Seek him. My mama is. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know for sure that my mother is. The reason I know my mother is, John Revelant told me so. Yeah. Uh, uh, John the Reverend said, Wayne, I saw what it was. She was standing in the midst of the congregation of the upright. When I, I saw him, mother, she was standing there, and I saw her robe was washed in the blood of the Lamb. All right, all right. For around the throne, though are, there, there are those who, who John said, These are they. My mother is. She wanted them, these are they. Who are around the door, both day and night, crying hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He's worthy. My mother is. My mother is. She was all that that I said she was, what y'all said she was. She was all that. She was all that, but now she Just to talk about mine. Coming to the value and the comparison of being my mother for 14 days as she transitioned from life to everlasting life. And I found out some things about what's going on in the valley. I found that my mother was the only mother that folks were caring for. My understanding is as Bobby was caring for my mom, Bobby is currently caring for her mom. She just got finished caring for Anthony's mom. And uh, Daryl, cousin Daryl, is in the process of seeing, from giving a lot of TLC to his mom. And cousin, who's the one sitting right across from Tony on the corner? Yeah. He's, they're saying about his mom. So all, a lot of mamas is getting a whole lot of TLC right about now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A whole lot of people caring for a whole lot of mothers who's cared with a whole lot of care. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not being selfish and, and just take this opportunity to just talk about my mom. And there's a reason why. I just, I, I just, I just, I just, I just cannot limit this to my mom. Even though this is about the reason why I can't be selfish with the thankfulness of I, you know, when, when the Lord Jesus Christ, when the Lord Jesus Christ died on the cross, uh, Jesus dying on the cross was no tragedy. That was His crowning achievement. That's what He came here to do. And the death of the cross was such an awesome thing, such a mighty, magnificent thing. The whole cosmos. Took witness of him. The Bible talks about all kinds of 
of things happen uh, when the, the Son of God died for the sins of the world. How things just stood still and took attention to the moment, to the hour. And, and the last 14 days, as, as I saw my mother transition, it, that's how it affected me. I'll never be the same. My mother going on, it, 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 it's, it's not enough for just me to talk about my mom. With all these mothers and all the mothers, my mother passed and caused me to realize that everybody got a mama. Everybody loved their mama. Yes, sir. So to the righteous mothers, who is it? Who is it that desires their own life? And live as many days that they may see good upon the face of the land. Yes. I mean, keep your tongue from evil and your mouth from speaking God. That sounds like our mothers to me. Yeah. 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 The righteous cry, and the Lord hear them and deliver them from all their trouble. When the righteous cry, okay. when the righteous cry, the Lord takes notice. The righteous cry, and the Lord hears and delivers them from all the trouble. Yeah. Or when the righteous cry, yeah. Yeah. when our mothers, when our righteous mothers get down on the bend knee, when the righteous cry. When the righteous Christ, something has to happen. When the people of God call on the God of the people. When the righteous cry. When the righteous cry, it's not a face full of tears always when the righteous cry. When the righteous cry, we always cry. All right. Cry out. All right. All right. And spread them. Lift up your trumpet. Oh, like a mother in the hood. <laughs> Show your church of their transgressions. And the house of the people have seen when the righteous cry. When the righteous cry, we cry out to one who we know is listening. So before our eyes even get that, we already know it's already, already, it's all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. When we cry, when we petition God, because we have faith when the righteous cry, the righteous, those who know that God is and that He is a reward of them who generally seek Him, the righteous, those who have their trust and hope in the Lord God Almighty, the righteous, those who believe that God is and beside Him there is none other. When the righteous cry. The third yeah. yes, When the righteous cry. Yeah. The righteous cry. And the Lord hears it. The Bible says that the eyes of the Lord is upon my mama and your mama and everybody else. Mama. When the righteous cry, yeah. you get the attention of the righteous mama. Yeah. All right. So the righteous are the righteous are praised. The righteous are lifting up. When the righteous sing. Or when the righteous shout. When the righteous praise. When the righteous lift each other up. When the righteous encourage each other. Our righteous mothers. My righteous mother. When the righteous the righteous God. One of the names of Christ in the Bible is He's the righteous judge. When the righteous cry unto the righteous judge, righteousness will be righteously administered. You guys, uh, four more minutes and I'm done. Give me four minutes. But I just want to. <clears throat> Um, 
get the better room, tomorrow's dressing up room. Uh, I spent 14 days with a beautiful woman. But she still was moving. Um, she was still grooving. She, she was still singing. We were still praising. We were still praying for her kids. She was praying for me. I know she was praying for me. I, I knew she was praying for me. I looked like I was strong. I, I looked very strong. But I was feeling like a cup full of noodles on the inside. But my mama was there, she was praying for us. But <clears throat> in the time that the God of the righteous came to receive that righteous woman to his own dear self, I got the chance to witness that. I got a chance to see them with these two eyes. I just want to take my seconds just for a minute. <clears throat> because we all was there. I was there, siblings, brothers and sisters, but we all was there. We all had a part in the care of our mother. They said it takes a village to raise a child. It takes a whole lot to continue to raise a mother. And she had lived a long parts of life and it took a lot of us a lot of us working together, our finances, our time, our prayers, our tears, our fussing. It took all of that to get to here. But we're here now. <clears throat> so, just, <clears throat> just as the Lord was talking, <clears throat> we had sat there, it was about uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. Or really, 8 o'clock. The center was part of this. <clears throat> the center was up, seeing about mom, you know, we're doing, making mom comfortable and talk for her and all this and that. She was waning a little bit, waning. She was walking in that direction. And uh, her breathing was, it wasn't the smoothest. But she was breathing, and I was praying for her. Smooth greatness. And I was on her left side. And our eyes made contact. And all of a sudden, her breathing got real good. All of a sudden, her breathing got real good. Was breathing so smooth and easy, and, and now 
actually really breathing easy now. It had been an honor and a privilege to be with William and Carlos. So 